Okay, so I just finished watching American Horror Story Apocalypse, the last two episodes. I kind of watched them back to back uh, because I had a break and I didn't watch it, so I got confused and then I didn't. So overall, it came full circle. I'll give them credit. It took a, what was this, like 12 episodes? No, 8 episodes? How many episodes was this? So I don't even know. Uh, to, to the on demand, what does it say? It tells me this is not helpful. Um, uh, oh, oh, 10 of 10. Okay, uh, so 10 episodes, 10 episodes, um, and three, four, three or four, maybe, of the 10 episodes was actually, like, present day rest of it was all in the past and about Landon's story and I'm like enough of this I don't care you lost me in the middle I somehow managed to stick it out most of it would probably make more sense if I watched the um series Coven if I watched that season um but overall I wouldn't put it in my top three because it lost me so much in the middle um although I am glad that it did come full circle I am very glad that it did that, and kind of how it did that, um, seeing why everything happened, and then kind of, you know, easing it all, I guess, out at the end. Um, it is a little amusing that Mallory, spoilers, Mallory actually, as, as she she's doing the voiceover for the episode, or for like the last little bit, and she mentioned, she's like, you know, I like having, I like having the, like, uh, I forget the line that she said. Es essentially, she can, she can help people with their futures. But she wonders what's going to happen. And, of course, then you see the two characters from the very, very beginning who end up getting it on in the um, outpost. And they have a kid, and the kid is the demon child. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I had, a, I had a quick moment that I was thinking that the chick at the very, very end, who had the kid, um, that she was in one of the other seasons as, like, one of the, like, the intro episodes, like, one of the first ones to kind of get the plot moving, um, or maybe it's just, it seemed very deja vu-ish? I don't know. Anyway, um, it is kind of amusing that you can change the past, but something's bound to happen in the future to continue this happen to continue this to happen. Um, so I was kind of I was kind of smirking and giggling to myself at the very the very very end of that last episode that it came full circle, but it also was like oh right this is still gonna happen. Um, also, I always have to kind of giggle that apparently apparently the world will end in twenty twenty. Like, it, it's very specific that it has, like, the years, and then you're like, hmm. Um, anyway. Like I said, I wouldn't put this in my top three. I wouldn't necessarily, um, break down which ones were my favorite. I had a conversation with some friends of mine about which ones, like, rank, ranking them, ranking all the seasons. In fact, I did not watch Coven. I probably can't properly rank them. But... And I like this one much better than the ep the season before it, though. I don't even remember the name of that season. It just I no just can't. Um, so I like I like this one better than that one. So maybe maybe my bottom five. Um, out of however many seasons there were. Um, anyway, so just wanted to comment that I finished it. I can say I recommend it and if you don't watch like the middle like the like the middle episodes you might actually still be okay like it's one of those I want to know what happened okay it all makes sense but I could probably have done without it because yes it adds to the story a little bit but it's also like I feel like some of them are like fluff episodes and unnecessarily over explanation episodes or something I can't do any better. I'm not saying that for sure. Um, but yeah, so there it is. There's my overall review. And that's, that's all I really got.